All right, so now we're talking about 6.2. And we have 7 one third times 4 and 1 third. 4 thirds. Well, what happens there? Uh, we add them. So it's going to be 7 and 1 third up here plus 4 thirds. Oh, thank goodness that we have common denominators. And that's going to equal 7 and five-thirds, which we could even say that equals the square, the cubed root of seven to the fifth, however you want to answer it. This answer is okay, and this answer is okay. All right, and most of these all are dealing with all of the properties. All right, simplify the expression. Simplify. Okay, well, if these are multiplied, again, it's x to the 5 over 3 plus 4 over 3. Oh, common denominators, awesome. Then we have 9 thirds, x to the 9 over 3, which suddenly equals x cubed. Excellent, and there's our final answer. Can we simplify some other ones? Like, let's take this 6, 17 one. Well, for the cubed root, how many groups of x's can I take out? 1x. So I know that's going to have x out front. What about 16? Well, that's 2 times 2, 16. Let's just write 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, times 2 times, oh, that's it, yeah. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, how many groups of 3 do we have? Well, we have one group. So we can write a 2 there. Square root, we have 1, 2 left over because there's that one group of 3. And we can put it here, 2x. So really it's 2x square root 2x is the answer for that. You have to think about grouping things and taking things out. Um, I have lots of fun with these ones. Um, 6 Let's add these things. We can think about this is like the same thing here. So this is 8 times cubed root of 5. And that's it there. I like these ones. We can take out how many 3's? None. How many X's? We can take out 1X. 4. Well, the 3 remains in. We've taken out how many X's? I've taken a 4, so I have x cubed left. How many y's can I take out? Ooh, I can take out 2y, so it's y squared. How many y's do I have left? I have 1y left. How many z's can I take out? None. That's z cubed. That's the final answer. Um, this one is talking about circumference. This one's talking about a swimming pool. Uh, read these. Figure them out. Don't want to give you hints with these. I want you to take a read and, and have a look. I like doing these ones over here. Maybe I'll do one more of these. So let's take this one, 64. What's the cubed root of 64? And we have x cubed and a y, and we have 4x, x to negative 3. So the x jumps up and the y stays down. So this 64 actually comes out and becomes a 4. The x cubed comes out 2, so that's a 4x, and then the y in there, divided by, well, this 4 actually stays here. Then we have this x to the negative 3 and y. I can't take out the y. The y's got to stay there. But the 4's cancel out, ninja style. So the 4's cancel out, and then this x negative 3 cause should jump up here. should be x to the 4th. Final answer should be x to the 4th square root of y divided by y, and that's cool. All right, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.